Who's ready for an adventure? Me! Raise your hand. Hey, Daddy, we're going on an airplane? No, no airplane. We're just going to go to... Flatwood Springs! Woohoo! Every fall, our family travels to Glenwood Springs, Colorado for an amazing weekend adventure. This year's adventure started with a trip to downtown Glenwood Springs and a quick bite to eat at the Rocky Mountain Pizza Company. Who's got some awesome pizza? Seriously. Are you hungry? Look at mine. Yeah. After an amazing lunch, we headed across the street to check out the Doc Holiday Museum. Although the museum was small, it was filled to the brim with amazing pieces of Wild West history, including the museum's centerpiece, Doc Holliday's own Derringer. After exploring downtown, we checked in at the Hotel Glenwood Springs which became our home away from home for the next several days. We chose to stay at the Hotel Glenwood Springs because it was within walking distance from all of the activities we love, and also because the hotel was one of the few in Glenwood that was actually dog friendly. The hotel had numerous amenities and we loved the Colorado style decor. Being a family of five, we found the small cost to upgrade to a suite to be well worth the money. Although we didn't spend a ton of time in our rooms, we loved having extra space to spread out and having a separate kids area with bunk beds and a TV. Overall, the room was well kept and very clean. There are many things to love about this hotel, but perhaps our favorite was the indoor water park. The water park featured a splashing area for the toddlers and a hot tub for mom and dad, but what everybody loved most was the water slide. slide what felt like 100 times, the kids were thoroughly exhausted, helping them fall asleep early and get some much needed rest for the big day ahead. I think it was. We started the next day by enjoying the hotel's free continental breakfast. There were plenty of great options for everyone and the kids loved the waffle station. Just steps from the hotel was the destination for the day's adventure. Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park. Just a quick ride up the gondola and we were ready to enjoy America's only mountaintop theme park. Our first ride of the day was the Alpine Coaster, which interestingly enough was the first Alpine Coaster built in America. With 3,400 feet of track, reaching speeds up to 25 miles an hour, it's no surprise that USA Today and Park Ride Magazine recently named this ride one of the 10 best rides of your life. You're tall enough. Next, we were off to the Soaring Eagle Zip Ride. Once seated, the ride raises 600 feet up the mountain in reverse, creating an incredible view of the Glenwood Valley then, after pausing for a few seconds, releases you back on the zip line for an incredible ride. Hang on. <laughs> you did it! Are you tall enough? Hey. 
Our next ride was a family-friendly roller coaster called the Wild West Express, which quickly became our four-year-old son's favorite ride of the entire day. <laughs> Keeping with the theme of roller coasters, our next ride was the Cliffhanger roller coaster. With an elevation over 7,000 feet above sea level, this is the highest roller coaster in America. From this height, the view of Glenwood Canyon will blow your mind. <laughs> Equally as terrifying was the Glenwood Canyon Flyer, which takes a typically family-friendly swing and makes it extreme by swinging riders over a cliff edge in the Glenwood Canyon, which is 1,300 feet below. What ride are we going to go on? We're going to go on the Hatch Are you excited? Uh -huh. Is it the best ride ever? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do it, okay? You know what it is, honey. I'll hold your hand, okay? New in 2017, the Haunted Mind Drop was recently voted the best new attraction by USA Today. With realistic props, riders feel as though they are entering an actual mine. And they free fall nearly 110 feet into the depths of Iron Mountain. The ride was equally terrifying and exhilarating. For the last thrill ride of the day, we worked up the courage to try the giant canyon swing. Guess what you're tolling up this year? You ready for it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, you're tolling up too. You ready? You ready, buddy? Just hang on tight, okay? Just hang on tight. We got it, okay? We can do this. You ready? The pneumatically powered ride swings passengers back and forth at speeds of nearly 50 miles an hour over the canyon below. <laughs> I can't believe you're doing it, Eric. It should be no surprise that this ride was named one of the most extreme rides in America. I don't like, I don't like it either. <laughs> you do. Although one ride was enough for both mom and dad, our seven-year-old loved this ride so much that he actually rode the giant canyon swing three times <laughs> and likely would have rode more if we had let him. Man, do you want to ride? Man, let's just do it one time, okay? How was it? You want to go again? Okay. <laughs> that was great. No trip to Glenwood Caverns Adventure Park would be complete without actually seeing the caverns. Our adventure took us to the King's Row Cave Tour, which leads visitors deep inside Iron Mountain. of a million and a half years, the stalactites look like icicles, making this underground wonder one of the most decorated cave rooms in all of Colorado. Glenwood Caverns offered something for everyone in our family, and even though our hearts were still racing from the day's thrill rides, we decided the day was complete and rode the gondola back to the hotel. The next day, we headed off to enjoy the Glenwood Hot Springs Pool. The historic pool's thermal spring water has been drawing visitors from all over the world for over a hundred years. 
containing over a million gallons of water, the Glenwood Hot Springs Pool is the largest mineral hot springs pool in the world. Mom and Dad loved the hot tub-like therapy pool, which was set at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And the kids loved the enormous main pool, which feels like bath water at a temperature of 93 degrees Fahrenheit. New in 2019 was the Sopra Splash Zone, a children's play area with a shallow pool and two toddler-sized water slides. Also new were the Shoshone Shoots, a tube ride that plunges adventure seekers downhill with plenty of twists, turns, and screams. Ready? Drop the fun, huh? Get that side, I'll get this side, okay? Okay, you're doing great. Let me know if you get tired. Tired yet? You'll feel like you're whitewater rafting down a Colorado mountain river with heart racing rapids and breathtaking scenic views. After a full day of soaking and relaxing in the hot springs pool, we were off to grab a quick bite to eat. Crossing over the pedestrian bridge and looking down at the hot springs, you quickly remember why Glenwood Springs is one of our family's favorite Colorado mountain towns. Following dinner, we stopped and had a beer at the Glenwood Caverns Brew Pub's annual Oktoberfest, which is being celebrated on one of the town's main streets. Then it was back to our hotel for a good night's rest before our drive home and return to reality.